Yo. Okay, so this is our VOI clan team. Here we actually did ministry in while we were waiting for our ride. We gave out presents to people and the smiles on their faces, it just like fills you up with joy that, that nothing else can fill. Um, we were very, very blessed. I know a lot of you have suffered through hunger and through sharing beds and whatnot, but God has really spoiled us, oh, this yeah. bunch of you. If we had an endless, endless bountiful abundance of food, we came back and uh, people were telling us that we got healthier. <laughs> um, this is actually where we had our meetings. We were building up the tent. The storm um, came and it actually wrecked the whole tent and so we had to rebuild it up again. So this was the children's ministry. I praise God for the people who were in that ministry because it took a lot of sacrifice and dedication and energy. So that was our nightly meetings. Um, we praise God for sending people that um, came and three people were actually willing to be baptized. As you can see, there's, <laughs> there's no better joy than serving the Lord. Amen. <laughs> So that's when we did house-to-house -house visitation. We sang for them. Um, as you can see, a lot of us are very different. We all come from different places, but what unites us is um, working for the Lord. And we had our worship at the beach. We were privileged to do that and experience that as well. There, I don't know if you could see it, but it was totally wrecked, the tent, the place. Hmm. Okay, thank you so much. That was my theme. <laughs> and now we're going to hear another testimony from Melissa Simple from Diet Com from Diet Vico. Marhay na uto sa Indogabut, mga tuga. And happy Sabat. Um, my team, there are seven of us in, a, in our team, and our field is in Daet Bicol, and I learned a little Bicol language. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. In, in our group, there are two of us foreigners, and ten. By the way, my name is Melissa, Melissa Simple. And in that group, my task is children coordinator. How many here um, children coordinator? Can I see your hands? Oh, yeah, thank you. And I believe that you also feel it's, uh, there is a challenge of being a children coordinator. So this is my third time joining Voice of Youth. My first time is in Mindoro and second time Tagaytay and third time in Bicol. And my first group are the same group who goes with me in Bic in Daet this uh, this time. So um, during the whole two weeks, most the weather is always raining and. Of course, it's cold, and during the children children's hours, 
Uh, our children's office in the morning, it's not in the afternoon. So, for the first first day, I didn't expect that. Uh, what is that? I know. On the first day, our program starts at 8:30, and then when 8:30, I wait and wait. There is no children coming, so I feel okay. This is first day, but but then after 30 minutes, past 30 minutes. There is children coming, so oh, thank God for sending them for, uh, yeah, sending them to this, to this program. Even though it's cold and it's raining, uh, they still coming. And for the two weeks, there are 50, 50 plus who came, but there are only 30 or 20 who came consistent, consistently, and. Yeah, here is the children's program. And what is that? During during the children's program, I have I'm having what is that? Difficulties in communicating with them because I cannot speak Tagalog. <laughs> and I thank you to my friend because he faithfully became my translator for the whole two weeks. <laughs> and Sometimes the children laugh at me of my pronunciation because we don't have the same pronunciation in Malaysia and Philippines. So, but it's okay. At least they learn something. And uh, what else? I'm teaching them also uh, English songs because if I teach Tagalog song, I cannot teach it. Uh, that plenty because I cannot speak Tagalog. But uh, there is one thing that I really praise God. You know the weather, even even though it's raining and it's cold, the children it's still coming, even though they get wet and shiv are shivering when they get into the place. They still they still keep coming and um, yeah, that's the children program. I want to show also one of the nightly meeting because in nightly meeting my part is welcoming welcoming the. Uh, uh, sharing, uh, sharing the the cameras, yeah. And sometimes I cannot understand them, but I just uh, shake their hands and smile and let them, uh, yeah, sit. And there is one time it December 25. Most of the people community there is uh, Catholic and. Yeah, they, they, most of them, not most, all of them is uh, celebrating Christmas and we didn't expect that there would be many people who come on the December 25th because uh, we believe that they are with their own families celebrating Christmas. But you know guys, the December 25th night is the most uh, many people who come. Yeah, so I I think to myself, I should not doubt to God. We, uh, we should always believe and believe in God. Sorry, believe in God because He He can do great things that we didn't expect. So uh, I thank God and praise God for giving me this opportunity to to join the voice of youth which i myself was revived and my spiritual growth spiritual life grow so thank you amen amen thank you so much melissa so let us not hesitate to do for the lord because we we, are, we think we can do little Uh, okay, before I finish, um, I want to I want to invite all my team, my, my members, to come here because during that time we have a very supportive uh, brethren, and they even give <laughs> uh, give us. It's a certificate. Uh, I mean. A um, after our program there, the Diet Seventh-day Adventist Church gave us the certificate of appreciation for AUP. Okay, so this certificate will 
go to I think Pastor Ron. So may call on Brother Glenn Cardona to present this certificate of appreciation. Basahin mo. As for the overall coordinator of our group, uh, I would like to present this to all the groups of Boys of Butte who had gone out last December. It says here, the, say, the citation goes like this. Southern Luzon Mission, Legaspi City, Camarines Norte District 2, Daet Seventh-day Adventist Church, Rossville 3 Subdivision, Barangay Gubat, Daet Camarines Norte. Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to AUP Voice of Butte Ministry for their dedicated participation during the Voice of Butte Evangelism 2015 and for bringing a precious soul to the foot of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? It was for all of us, not only for our group. So may this, may this uh, plaque sa Tagalog ba ay mag, uh, will be our inspiration to continue to do God's work. May God bless us. Pastor Ron, can you please? Uh, Mr. President Howard, Please receive this gift, gift from SLM. That's your class, Holly. I hope and I pray that may kita natin to sa ano, si Oti. Yung nakaano talaga, sa ano ba. So, can I invite my, all my teammates? Lopel, can, here, you're late already. Come here. Team Daet Bicol. Uh, picture daw God bless us all. Thank you so much, Kuya and Team Daet Bicol. And now the last group to share their testimony and thanksgiving is the working scholar and Ternate Cavite. Okay. Team Ternate requests to Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to share about uh, our team. Team. Uh, team uh, in Cavite Ternate, what we did from December 23rd to 28th. So our main goals was. Um, Can I have your attention, please? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Our main, our main, our main focus was on community service, which included home visitation, making a live wood center, children ministry, adult ministry, and community guest day. Uh, so our main activity that we did there when we reached there. We visited some home by home, offering music. That was on the 24th December. Uh, we're offering them music, sing, sing with them. Uh, there was this song that we sang, Magma, Magmahal. Mag, mag? Magmahal. Magmahal. Yeah, mag, magna. Magma. OK, whatever. Uh, because it was on the 24th December, and the following day was uh, it was Christmas. So, from that activity, I learned. So, these are some families that we visited, and there was plenty of food there. Uh, yeah, but my this was my turning point actually because from that song. 
uh, I learned, even though it's in Tagalo, but I was told that Jesus, do you know your friend Jesus? Because he's the one, he cares about you. So I am actually born Adventist, but I've, I was not yet baptized until today, praise the Lord. Uh, so this was actually my turning point, and uh, that's what I learned most in VOI. So we had also other ministry. Yeah, so we, we went to invite some poor people around the sea. Near, who are living there, who don't have clothes, and then we're able to donate clothes to them. We gave them some clothes. We had plenty of clothes, and uh, actually they were not able even to finish our clothes because we had plenty of them. So we also made a center of live wood. Yeah, we went to cultivate into us always in the morning. We would go and have a jogging, and then we went to plant cassava. We planted some cassava so that next time when you go in summer, we go and harvest the cassava and eat. So we also had some evening worship. We not only concentrated on the community, but also on our growing in Christ for pers personal, our personal growth in class, Christ. So we are uh, blessed with some students who were able to play guitar and violin. We also were able to donate 20 pesos to those children that we met. That was, our, that was on the 23rd December. And we went to invite some children for their ministry. So that uh, we were inviting children for their ministry, we had a very, that was on Friday in the morning, and then in the, on Sabbath, they had their own program. Uh, they had their own program in which by, we all, yeah, these are some team members, they went to bring the children. They brought the children so that you can have their program. We're blessed with, uh, I think there were more than 50 children who came, who, were, who attended. And then we were able, after the program, to give them what we got from God. We, we gave them food and uh, some pencil or their utensil that they can use at school. Oh, also, also then after we had parents, uh, so we call it Community Guest Day because we invited the, par the parents and then they came. We gave them food and uh, that, that was all. So we thank God that he used, he used us to be a blessing to the community. And uh, that was our main focus community service, so we hope you guys will join us next time in Ternate. Amen. Thank you, Team, team Ternate. And um, there are two teams, my team and Ternate, they are the church planters. They belong to the church planters. And next up, next to my, my team, my team church. To share a testimony to us is the team maitim. Amadeo. Amadeo. Team maitim from Amadeo. Who's the representative from team maitim? Okay, we're well, waiting. The Work Scholar Association will share a testimony. Work Scholar. 
Yeah, that one you say first. Hi everyone. Na imbag na aldao na yuamen kakapsat. I learned how to speak Ilocano. Because most of the people living there were Ilocanos. So, siguro ilang percentage lang yung pure Filipino. So, maybe I can use the remaining time, ah, five minutes only. Akala ko until the end, yeah, I can pwede ko nang gamitin. Anyway, um, our team from Bungabon, Nueva Ecija. And we are representative from the Working Student Association and um, our team is entitled Unclaimed Gift. So what makes this um, BUI uh, more experienced kasi Unclaimed Gift nga yung aming, copy, uh, yung aming team. So it took 8 hours before we reached the place. So parang ang tagal ng travel namin kasi sa Manila ay naligaw na kami kasi yung driver namin hindi familiar sa place na yon so hindi niya alam kung saan lulusot or saan yung dadaanan niya so these are the preparation during our BY so yung una so nagpipix kami ng scent and then it took um, hours to finish kasi masyadong malaki yung tent and then masyado ding yung place is not ganong kalaki and then to attract more audiences or listeners during our BUI nagkaroon kami doon ng free massage so that uh, many visitors and listeners will come to not for the sake of massage but also to listen so and during our um, serenading so parang challenging sa amin to kasi during magsiserenade kami May nagbibigay sa amin ng pera, so in-expect nila na kukan kami. Ano ba yan? Namamas ko. So parang napaka-challenge kasi sa amin kung tatanggapin ba namin or hindi. But praise God, hindi kami na-tempt na tanggapin yung pera. Kung wala sana nakatingin, bubulsa ako na eh. <laughs> Pero anyway, doon na yan eh. So napakasaya nung time na yun kasi we gather together, we serenade, and then we visited our interests. And they were happy too kasi... Um, yun yung time na makakasama nila kami aside from nightly meetings and we visited them during early in the mornings and and the sequ um, the programs namin nga pala doon nagkaroon pala kami ng um, Bible study meron din kami doon in nightly meeting crusade meron half lecture and then also meron din kaming Zumba so sabi nga ng isa kong kasama Para daw maging sexy and maging maganda, so kailangan mong magsumba. So yun, ginagawa namin yun, I'll alternate. And then during our um, vacation Bible school, so napakasaya ng mga bata. So napakasaya pala na makakasama mo yung mga bata kasi iba yung experience mo kapag nakasama mo sila. Iba't iba yung ugali ng mga bata, may makukulit, may sobrang tahimik, may pasaway, different kind of attitudes, no? So, napakasaya nila din. Most of the time nga, eh, napapansin ko na, kaya na, masyado ako naging close sa mga bata. Minsan, tinatawag na nila akong daddy, pero sabi ko, wag nila akong tawagin daddy, baka sugudin ako ng mga magulang nila. <laughs> and then, ito'y during um, graduation, and we're lucky kasi we have um, 70 uh, kids or children na uh, nag-graduate. And most of them receive um, certificates and also their activities so I have two minutes na lang and then to make the long story short um, napakasaya ng throughout those two weeks na we have different experience um, and then challenging in our life kasi sometimes we fail to you know na minsan hindi namin gagawin yung task namin kasi nakakaroon kami ng some problems <laughs> and then later on as times goes by, mas nagiging united kami kasi um, na, 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 nagiging united kasi kami every night nakakaroon kami ng evaluation sa ginagawa namin. If nagagawa ba namin yung mga part namin or nagagawa or may mga times na hindi namin na gagawa yung aming mga responsibilidad as a team. And then praise God kasi 
Um, nakakaroon naman kami ng problems, but then, after that um, evaluation, eh, naaayos din naman namin. So that, for the following days, or the following um, times na maulit yun, ay, naka, na, na, natututo kami sa mga pagkakamali namin. And then, this, yung during um, um, baptism. So, si Pastor Ron pala yung aming speaker ng Sabanin kasi uh, nagpunta siya ng Bungabon sa Kabalatuan and then sa Bungabon. And then, siya yung nag-lead sa baptism. Yung sumakakita niyo, siya doon. And then, uh, masaya, ka, masaya ka kami kasi um, yung two weeks namin is nagbunga. So, within the two weeks, meron kaming nine students na nabaptize. Um, different kind of religion sila. So, yung iba, backsliders. And then, we're so glad kasi napabalik namin sila sa pananampalataya. And before I end up my stories or my experience, I would like to share to you the passage in Philippians 4 verse 13. It says there that I can do all things through Christ which is threatened me. Which is magagawa natin yung lahat. And then, through Him, na though we're not perfect, then um, whether we're first timer or an expert, or I should say that um, really knows how to give Bible studies or um, have experience joining BOI, it doesn't matter whether you are first timer. Kasi it's no longer you speaking, it's no longer your own idea um, to give Bible studies, but through the whole power of the Holy Spirit, will convince them to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Once again, um, good afternoon. Wow. Thank you. And the last, but not the least, the team, my team.